And what a way to close out this championship season. As you see, Davis and James, it's all coming out. You know, one of the, to me, one of the great pleasures of this job every year is watching they become little kids again when that title is realized, when it's finally over, and all the work, all the sweat, all the practices, all the travel, and in this case, all this time in the bubble ends up with what they all set out for as their number one and only goal. You know what? Each guy invested, and LeBron is thinking, I promised this guy this. I told him that things would be different. And to finish it off, they all should be extremely proud. Well, Lennox puts it up at him. Caruso will bring it up. LeBron James already celebrating. I'm sure they are back in Los Angeles again. <laughs> Dwight Howard knocks down a three-pointer. There's the exclamation point. And the Heat will just bring it up. As the Lakers will win game six. And now Cook can just dribble it out. And J.R. Smith already shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> Final seconds here in this NBA season. The respect from those two. And that's it. It's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers conquer the bubble. And banner number 17 will soon hang in the rafters. Such an emotional time for these L.A. Lakers and also emotional for Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. As we said, a painful way for a great season to come to an end. Always so inspiring when an individual or a team overachieves or accomplishes the unexpected. That's what the Heat did. But they ran up against a Laker team that defensively just steamrolled them here tonight. So much more ahead in the celebration, the trophy presentation, the naming of the finals MVP. It's all ahead as the Lakers win the 2020 championship.